Okay, guys, we're live. All right, we're live, right? We're live, we're live again, again. This, the, I've done so many videos in one day, it's unbelievable. But you guys are gonna see all the people from the beginning to this handsome gentleman and his beautiful kids here now. So, welcome to JW Foods, guys. Without getting into everything that we've already talked about before, tell everybody about who you are and where you came from. Yeah, I'm Daniel Horvath. I came from former Yugoslavia, communist country. Former Yugoslavia was called by people, people's prison, because people were not allowed to express themselves, they were not allowed to do their businesses, they were not allowed to build their churches, and uh, my father was uh, in jail three years for having a Bible. Under his... your, your father was in jail for yeah, three years yeah. for having a Bible? Yeah. So, so when, when did you, you, you left Croatia, correct? I left Croatia in 1982. 1982. And, and that seems to be a, a pattern with a lot of people that left during the uh, communism rule yeah, yeah. in the 80s. Exactly. And they escaped there and came to Canada. Yeah, exactly. So you left in 82. And why did you come to Canada? Well, I came to Canada to have freedom of religion, freedom of speech, freedom uh, to create my business, everything like that. Family, happy, and so on. So in, in, in Croatia, I was uh, Croatia, former Yugoslavia communist. I was depressed. I was persecuted. I went to university and was not able to finish because I didn't want to join Communist Party. I didn't want to be a member of Communist Party. I couldn't get the job I deserved. I was always pushed to the lower level. How old were you back then? Uh, I was then uh, 20 years old. 20 years old. And you left there? And I, we were forced into Communist military. I was in Communist military for wow. a year and a half. Force, nobody asked no, me, no 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 and they were indoctrinating us there against God, like a uh, dict uh, former dictator of Yugoslavia, Tito, he said, there is no God. And the Bible says, the fool says in his heart there is no God. So all the people that think there is no God, they are fools, and God will bring everybody to Everybody to, uh, will have to give an account to God for what they are doing now. Every politician, every, every, every you know, leader, leader, leader whatever they are, they'll be judged by God. Absolutely. Day. So, from your experience as a 20-year-old yeah. in Croatia under communism, and your father being put in jail for carrying a Bible, yeah. what do you see happening in our country today? I am uh, having the same feeling now. Same feeling. Same feeling. So you can smell it. Restrictions, punishments, you know, tickets given to people, closing businesses, closing churches, same, same. So what would you like to say to the politicians that are listening to this? Stop in, in enforcing communism on people because we will raise up standard and we will fight against it. So, Without any more endure here, um, you see, we're hearing the same story over and over and over, and that's why we're doing this uh, this new type of talking yeah. about our customers and the experience that they had back home and why they came to this country for the freedom for these children and for everything else. And the first thing that it seems like everybody says that I never had the experience of communism. So the first thing we're seeing is that they all say they smell it, they can see it coming. My father always said to us when we went to school, look down and say nothing to anybody because every word could be used against you. Mm -hmm. So we were always quiet. Even when teacher asked me in the school something, I was just quiet. You didn't want to say nothing. So I so said low grades. And at home, father asked me, what did you learn? And I said, oh, this is all why. So we had to like double you know, uh, we were confused. And when you came to Canada, you you uh, you uh, started up your own business, or yeah, you started start my own business. Started your own business with nothing, right? You came here with nothing. I came with suitcase with eighty dollars in my pocket. That's all I saved. Seven years of my life. and 
And all I could afford there was a bicycle. You know, to work so if Canadians wanted that, yeah. And you know, you shame. Sorry, what's your first name? Daniel. Daniel. You can see in Daniel's eyes. You can yeah. see. Yeah, it's coming. You can see it. Excited. Yeah. This guy's a brother of mine. Yeah. Because we're family. Yeah. We're family under God. We're, we're, we're part of humanity is that we're family. This business mm -hmm. is a family business, but it's more than just a family. It's about everybody that comes in that door is treated with respect, respect and dignity. And we are a family under God and we're a family under freedom. Mm -hmm. And we will never allow that to happen. And that's why these videos are very important that we get the message out there to all you other businesses that are suppressing the people as well. Because you're just as guilty as the government that is suppressing the people in this situation that we're in now. And it has to come to an end, it has to stop now. And if it means that our business is strong because of these people coming here and making a voice and making a voice very clear about what they experience and what they don't want to see happen to our beautiful, beloved country, it has to come to an end. And that's why these videos will continue to go and you're gonna hear the experiences of people like Daniel that came from communism and, and brought their family and, want, and, and we're part of society here in Canada. Is there anything you want to say before we uh, close and you want to say something to the politicians about what they're doing? What do you want to say to the politicians about what's going on now? Because if they ignore God, they, are, they became fools. They're not wise people. Because wisdom of God begins with the fear of God. And if they don't have fear of God, they're a bunch of fools. And there you have it, guys. Uh, thank you for watching this one at JW Foods. The fight is for these kids. The fight is for our future. God bless you. And uh, keep following us on YouTube, right? Um, on YouTube at William Fair. So William F-E-H-R, the third. And you're going to see a lot of videos coming up there very shortly. But subscribe to it because it's going to get real, guys. And then I've got a podcast coming out very soon. So stay on it. Stay real. Love you guys. Till next time, JWFoods.com.